people of God, good day. I bring you special greetings from our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the Lord yet again has something special for you. And I know that before the end of this message, you shall surely be blessed. In Jesus' precious, matchless name. Amen. Happy New Year. Hallelujah. Today, we want to look at a topic that I've entitled, You Are Redeemed to Succeed. Praise the Lord. Now, it will interest you to know that after God created man, the first word God spoke to man were the words of prosperity. How do I know? Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, the Bible said, And God blessed them, and God said, Be fruitful, multiply, hallelujah, replenish the earth, subdue it, and have dominion. Glory be. Embedded in that scripture is the fourfold prosperity plan of God for his children. Hallelujah. Now, it will interest you also to know that the fruitfulness in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 is not talking about the fruitfulness of giving birth to children, but rather it's talking about the fruitfulness of prosperity. Hallelujah. I took a time to study the word fruitful in the context of that verse, and I found out that the Hebrew word for the word fruitful there is parol. Hallelujah. It means to bring forth. It means to make something. It means to create something. Hallelujah. So God told man, after he had created man, hallelujah, that you have to create something that is fruitfulness. You have to create something. So for you to succeed on earth, you have to be creative. It is very much important. You have to be creative. Now, I was listening to a man of God, a renowned man of God, uh, Pastor Mais Moron, and he said something. He said, poverty is not the lack of resources. It is the lack of creativity. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, creativity is the first step to prosperity here on earth. Hallelujah. Second step is multiplication. When you've created something, you need to multiply. Hallelujah. You need to make it plenty. So you create something. First of all, you need to create something unique, something different. Then you multiply. You make it plenty. And after you have multiplied it, the next thing to do is to replenish the earth distribution. Hallelujah. So the first step is create something. The second step is to multiply. And the third step is to distribute it. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says when you distribute, you will subdue and have dominion. Hallelujah. Look at all the successful men we have on earth today talking about the second richest man on the earth now, Bill Gates. He applied the biblical principles of prosperity and he is prospering. Praise the Lord. Bill Gates created Microsoft. He multiplied it. He made it plenty. Hallelujah. Then he distributed Microsoft all over the world. Praise the Lord. And as a result, he is having dominion. He got to a point where the United States government had to call him and say, no, it is not possible for you to have this amount of success. You are succeeding too much. And they said, you cannot be controlling all the computers in the whole world. It's not possible. Hallelujah. Success. So it comes to tell you that God cares about your prosperity. When you prosper, you make God proud. Hallelujah. God is a prosperous God. There is no way he can have children who are not replicating his glory. But in the kingdom, prosperity is God's plan for your life. In the kingdom, prosperity is a covenant. Now, I must tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Romans chapter 8 verse 32, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Prosperity does not answer to fasting and prayer. Prosperity does not answer to prayers. Prosperity applies to biblical principle. Hallelujah. Why? Because it is a covenant. Now, because it is a covenant, there is something you must do to prosper. Praise the Lord. I just gave you the four fundamental principles of prosperity. Hallelujah. Create, multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. Hallelujah. Now, you must have this understanding that as a child of God, you must prosper. Praise the Lord. It's quite unfortunate that in Africa, people believe that the demons are the reason why they can't succeed. People believe that demons are stopping them from prospering. Please, I must be frank and I must be truthful with you. It is a lie. No demon can stop you from prospering if actually you want to prosper. Why am I saying that? Because no demon has the right or has the power to thwart the word of God. God said be fruitful and multiply. It's a commandment. So he said go and succeed. So there is no demon that can stop you from succeeding. The only thing that can stop you, only, only person that can stop you from succeeding is you yourself. Hallelujah. The Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you don't know that is why you are destroyed. Forget about demons. Praise the Lord. You have power because you are seated far above principalities and power and dominion and every name that is named on earth, in heaven and under the earth. Praise the Lord. 
Christ has taken care of the demons, we have dominion over them. So you need to work in the prosperity principle and in the prosperity covenant for you to succeed. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18, And thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth the power to make well that he may establish his covenant with your fathers. Hallelujah. So prosperity is a covenant. Job 36, 11, If they will obey and serve me, they will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Glory be to God. Poverty is not of God. Poverty does not resemble God in any way. You need to prosper as a child of God. I pray for you today that from today may you begin to walk in the covenant of prosperity and as you do, your life will take a drastic transformation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is always what to do to prosper. And God will open your eyes to walk in this covenant in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Prosperity is for only those who have given their life to Christ. Praise the Lord. So if you're not a child of God, you do not qualify for the kingdom covenant. Quickly, I want to lead you to Christ. Pray alongside with me. Say, Heavenly Father, thank you for this word. I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you for saving me when I was yet a sinner. Satan, I denounce you from today. I shall follow the Lord. I have no business with you anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are praying this prayer, you are now a child of God. All you need to do is to look for a believing church and attend, and God will transform your life.